What's going on? How are you guys this week? We just got down to Frankie's free range meat on a Monday, so I'm definitely not the most enthusiastic person, but we got some good news and as usual, some bad news this week. Uh, but uh, let me show you guys what's going on first. So we got some guys packing orders. They already have one pallet here and I believe another pallet inside here. Not as many orders this week because I didn't do any promotions or anything. I was just trying to lie low a little bit. We're good. We're stocked up on styrofoam. We got some Frankie's free range foods orders going out. I have to uh, hop in the freezer and do about uh, 20 orders. So I'm not going to be too cold today. And then we got Frankie's free range foods, organ supplements and Frankie's and naturals orders to fill maybe about 20 altogether. The water keeper is now available. Uh, it is priced a little high, but we'll talk about that later. So yesterday, that freezer almost killed me. I, I haven't been sleeping that well uh, the past few weeks because I took way too much transdermal magnesium. That activates vitamin D stores, and I've just kind of had insomnia. So I came down here yesterday, like I didn't eat. I was kind of exhausted, and I spent two hours in the freezer. And then when I got home later, I felt like I could barely walk. So. Uh, I'm, feel, I'm feeling a little better today. I got a couple hours of sleep last night. Hopefully, I mean, it should get better over the next uh, week or two uh, if I lay off the magnesium. Uh, so let me hop in the freezer. Let me do these orders, and then we'll uh, talk about what else is going on this week. Now that my face is half frozen, I can show you guys what's in the freezer this week. So thankfully, yesterday, I had the two guys helping me pack some orders. So I was only in the freezer for about two hours. Otherwise, I would have uh, completely lost it so maybe we have about 50 more orders to send out today and then maybe we'll get 20 more orders today that are going to be sent out tomorrow. We don't really have anything uh, new in stock but we do have some stuff back. So we have uh, the flank steaks which are you know one to one and a half pounds each. We got plenty of prime ribeye and there's some uh, prime New York strip up there. We, we have some of the bone and ribeye left running a little bit low. Uh, we should have some bone and ribeye roast this week as well. Way too much four ounce sirloin steaks, hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Uh, we got a decent amount of ribeye in stock. Correspondingly, we have the affordable ribeye stew meat available. Uh, running low on the Finlandia, I think we're gonna get rid of this product. So if you guys want that before we lose it, get some. We have some whole short ribs in stock. I'm trying to get more of these because some of you guys do like them. Uh, they're a little bit more affordable than the portion ones, which are right here. Two pound portion short ribs. Uh, we got whole brisket in stock, uh, some chuck stew meat, sirloin stew meat. We have the eye round roast that uh, people probably want more for the winter time. Chuck steaks back in stock, truck roll in stock, brisket, uh, tri-tip steak back in stock. We got plenty of these now. These are kind of nice fatty roughly two pounds each nice marble tri-tip steak still got the bacania steaks in stock which have a nice fat cap very tender we're still doing the two pound 8515 organic ground beef promo this week probably the last week we're doing it running low on testicles but have to get some in stock we got plenty of lamb fat back for you guys and the most important product is probably the lamb brains we have back in stock uh, which comes six to a package you guys have been waiting on these a while. So I did run out of beef heart and beef liver, but we do have lamb liver, uh, and I'm gonna have some lamb heart ready for you guys this week. So we do have lamb organs. And another product you guys have been waiting a while for is uh, beef tendons. So we have hundreds of pounds of beef tendons for you guys. Hopefully this will last a little while. You want some collagen in your soups and stocks. Plenty of pork ribs in stock. Pork is good, I mean, the Iberico is always expensive. And we got plenty of lamb for you guys as well. The lamb piccani is back, ground lamb, everything. Petite tender is available in organic three pound portions. Decent amount of stuff back in stock. Still missing a couple things. Uh, trying to reach out to my vendors and get my hands on some stuff. In regards to this uh, godforsaken warehouse, uh, the AC motor went, which is probably what actually caused the lights to blow and all of those electrical problems last week. Uh, so that combined with fixing the electrical panel and all the faulty wiring in this place. And the bigger issue is the Con Ed bill is just three times what it's supposed to be. So 
I'm gonna have to like get my lawyer to write a letter to my landlord and say, hey, listen, you gotta fix this because I can't spend $4,000 to fix the electrical panel, the lights, the AC. It, it, I have a lease, it's not my building. This is, it's getting more and more ridiculous. Um, you know, I already paid like $1,000 to fix some sewer issues a couple months ago. I just paid the guy 1200 last week to rewire the lighting. I'm at a few thousand dollars that I shouldn't have to spend that should be included in the lease. So we're going to have some issues with, uh, with that over the next few weeks. Hopefully it's nothing too crazy, but uh, that's why I'm excited about potentially uh, getting the slaughterhouse sooner than later. Although I'm not sure how quickly I'll be able to relocate everything to Pennsylvania. You know, I am speaking to some banks. Uh, some more paperwork came through this week, so we're getting uh, closer and closer and closer to that goal. Um, a couple of you guys did reach out to me for investors that you wanted to help out, but you know, as much as I want to thank you guys, it's just you know, I only got like maybe a dozen emails, and uh, no one was interested in investing a larger amount. So, uh, I mean, I'm not surprised. I understand, uh, but I, you know, I figured a lot of people wanted to jump at the opportunity to get you know five or ten percent off uh, my products because. A couple years from now, when things work out, people are going to be kicking themselves. Uh, so a little good news is the dehydrator is in New York. The bad news is it's probably going to cost me another $3,000 to get it into the warehouse. So it's, I already spent 1000 in forwarding fees, and it's probably going to be you know, another 500 or so in custom fees and maybe $1,000 to deliver it. So and I might have to rent a forklift. So I mean, we got to get it here, even if it's another $3,000, because I already spent 5000 on it. And I think that's way cheaper than any of the, the American-made stuff. It's probably going to be at least twenty, thirty, forty thousand. Uh, they they just overcharge so much compared to the the Chinamen. So as I mentioned, the water kefir is now available. It's made with Mountain Valley. Sometimes I use a little Gerolsteiner in there for some calcium. Uh, these are thirty-four ounce bottles, and this is going to come wrapped in uh, bubble wrap like this. Right now, these are seventeen fifty, just because I don't have enough. I do want to lower the price to $15, hopefully uh, by the end of this week, next week when I have more of them going. Uh, but there's a very limited availability right now, maybe like uh, 15 per week for the next two weeks or so. But we're, we're, we're doing it, guys. We're getting the, the water kefir out to you guys. I think it's, I think it's pretty reasonable and uh, the highest quality stuff you're going to get. So the way I'm doing this is supposed to be a perfect second ferment water kefir. So I, I do the first ferment of the water kefir. And then I, then I refill it with sugar and then I ship it out to you guys. So by the time you get it, two or three days from the time I ship it with the sugar in it, it should have the peak bacterial content and it should be good for another week or so. Um, if you guys do have a problem, if it's like too alcoholic or, or too like, maybe it's a way too fermented, maybe it sat at the post office for a day or two or it was too hot. If there's any problem with it, please let me know. I'll send, I'll send you a new one and, uh, and we can figure out what went wrong. So I'm going to uh, I'll fill the orders for the foods, organ supplements, and naturals. And I guess I'll take another look around. So we got all the orders from the weekend done. Frankie's Strange Foods, Frankie's Naturals, organ supplements. I'm hoping I get the silver fabric soon, hopefully within a week or two, so that I can take it to my tailor and we get the clothing back in stock on Wi-Fi shielding. Organ supplements, I'm having a very difficult time getting the powders, so I was hoping that you know the slaughterhouse sale goes through relatively soon and then I can work with the USDA on what the logistics of getting the glands from the animals are. That might not be possible, so I might just be uh, in a tough situation on the organ supplements end. For Frankie's Naturals, you know, things have always been steaming ahead, you know, consistent sales over the past two years. And I mentioned earlier that dehydrator coming in, as soon as that happens, I can definitely make jerky. Not sure about the pemmican, might be too difficult, but I think just the jerky is gonna be plenty adequate. And worst case scenario, we can uh, make the pemmican with coconut oil instead of beef tallow if, if we can't render enough beef tallow. And if anything, um, it, it should still be an identical product, same purpose. Uh, I think that's going to be it for today. I really needed to get that computer set up downstairs, which I still haven't done because I need to answer some emails, do some logistical stuff. You know, once I have like my own home base set up somewhere, um, it'll just be a lot easier. You know, ideally. That farm property is very close to that slaughterhouse. Either way, I just I need to be more comfortable with everything and be able to handle all aspects of the business from one location. Uh, so if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, any questions you might have. 
Uh, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And definitely check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. You can go to frank stefanocom to check out all of my businesses. Frankie's Free Range Meat, Frankie's Free Range Foods, Organ Supplements, Frankie's Naturals, Wi-Fi Building, everything. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.